As we start looking at the instructions for x86, x8664, um, then we uh, all the instructions, most of the instructions, like move, have a suffix on it, like q, that uh, describes the size of what it's going to do. So move q means moves a quad word. A quad word is 64 bits. So the suffix b means byte, that one's straightforward. W means word, but word here means 16 bits, not what we would actually consider the word size of x86-64. That's because originally it was 16 bits words. Uh, and since originally words were 16 bits, then L for long word meant 32, and then finally Q for quad when we moved to 64. There are two other uh, suffixes, S and L again. These are used on floating point operations. We won't see any of those today. Um, Note that L can mean double precision or it can mean long word. The context, the, the instructions are different, so it's always clear. These are the whole set of types as far as the processor is concerned. Uh, they're all numbers. They're either 8 bits or 16 or 32 or 64 bits long. If you have arrays or structures, other high-level data types like that, those are all managed by the compiler um, and implemented by the, the smaller kinds of data types. Every instruction, um, some of the instructions deal with registers, and I mentioned before that uh, hash percent RAX or RBX, these are names of registers. Specifically, those are the names we use when we want to view the registers as having 63 bits. But it used to be that the register was named EAX and EBX and so on, and we still use those names, even in the 64-bit instruction set, when we want to refer to them as 32-bit quantities. Basically, when we only want to pay attention to the bottom half of the register. And if we only want the bottom quarter of the register, we can use AX, BX, CX. That starts to be the original names. And then AL, BL, CL, DL, and so on, when only 8 bits are relevant. So these are relatively infrequently used. Um, and you can see that the names are, well, it goes A, B, C, D, and then it goes S, I, D, I for some reason. Those had mnemonic meanings originally. Now they're just names. Uh, RBP and RSP. Um, RSP is actually a still a useful name because that's SP is stack pointer and that's why it's in green here is that there are several instructions that treat this particular register implicitly. It's kind of like RIP in specialness but not quite as special as RIP still in the regular set of registers. And then there are more registers named R8 through R15. Those are the new ones that came with 64-bit and that's why they have uh, well more straightforward names 8 through 15. Because these register names, like RAX, imply a register size, 64 bits versus 32 bits for EAX, then there's often redundancy between a register name and an arg as an argument to an instruction and one of these suffixes. And for that reason, you won't always see a suffix on an instruction uh, in assembly format, like if you get it from a disassembler, uh, but I will try to use them consistently on the slide.